Among the bias faults, when the computer wants to start the black screen, so when the laptop is on but the screen is still black, the bias errors, when you get a lot of errors, when you're powering on the computer and you get a black screen with, with many errors, so the computer won't start and the power lead or the caps lock lead blanked, okay? Of course, if you have a dead motherboard, when you press the power button, no response. But when you check the voltages, you find that all voltages are correct. Okay, you find the 3 volt, the 5 volt, the 19 volt is good in the power jack. The 3 volt is present in the pin number 8 of the BIOS. So, all components, all chips, no heads no hot chip all components seems to be good the motherboard is not broken you check the connectors you find that all the connectors is not damaged all voltages is present but the problem still here the motherboard is dead means 100 percent you should reprogram the bios you have a corrupted file inside the bios okay so another failure now is no data in the computer screen when you get a computer the computer is powered on or led are on but no data in the screen the screen can be a black screen a white screen a blue screen a green screen okay but no data this means the problem is in the bios you have a corrupted file you should reprogram the bios okay after that the next failure is the beeps. When you power it on your computer, you hear a lot of beeps. Okay? Of course, these beeps means there is a problem somewhere. But the problem can be in the RAM. Maybe the RAM chip are not installed correctly in its slots. Maybe you have a problem with the hard disk drive. Maybe the graphic card. Maybe some connectors are not connected correctly so if you check all these accessories and all this part you check the memory especially the random access memory if you check the random access memory the random access memory you find it connected correctly to the ram slot you check all connectors you check the hard disk drive the ODD or the optical disk drive and you find all this are correct are installed correctly but the bips still here still persists means you should reprogram the BIOS. The BIOS file is probably corrupted. Okay? Etc. Okay? What we need to program the BIOS? The four major part that is important if you want to reprogram the BIOS IC is. The BIOS IC itself, okay? So, Sometimes you should remove or you have to remove the BIOS IC from the motherboard and put it in a specific adapter and then put it in the programmer. And sometimes you can just use a clip. There is some motherboard or some programmer that contain a clip like this. So in this case, you can just let the BIOS install it in the motherboard without removing it and just go ahead and connect this clip directly to the motherboard, to the BIOS in the motherboard and then connect the programmer to the laptop and then you can program it, okay? Of course! We have the BIOS IC, we have the programmer and the software. So, the software is here the one of the main important parts because here we have the firmware okay so to transfer this fir firmware to the bios ic of course you need the programmer and you need an interface to interface the software interface is this this is the software through the software this firmware will go here to the bios ic and of course, through the program. So you will need to program the BIOS. You will need the BIOS IC itself, the programmer, the software, 
and the firmware. The firmware is basically the the serviceable file. Okay, the serviceable file. So you will find this. The extension of this firmware is usually binary or hex. Okay, so hex or binary. Okay, to so. reprogram the BIOS, you will need the file or the firmware but of course you should look for the firmware you can find the firmware when you go to google you can just type the reference of the firmware for example the model of the laptop or computer then type bios firmware and you can get the firmware automatically but sometimes you cannot find the binary the firmware with binary with being extension so in this time you should maybe you should buy the firmware somewhere in a website or i teach you a trick that you can use to convert an executive file to a binary file because executive file always exists always exists okay you can just go to google and for example type the laptop the model of the laptop or of the computer and drivers and among the drivers you will find the bios driver but executive file so i teach you using some commands how to convert an executive file that has an extension axa extension to a bin file or a binary file so you should open the cmd window the command window so you can just press from the keyboard windows r okay as you can see and then the ram windows will be opened for you okay then you can just type cmd okay and press enter and you will get as you can see the cmd windows and in the cmd windows you should type the first command is cd then the part of the folder then you should press enter then you will type rename star dot star space dot star dot point bin or binary and then press enter and automatically the axa file or the executive file will be converted to the bin file okay so here for example this is the amazon website you can just go to google and write for example bios programmer and you can check the the big website like amazon like aliexpress like alibaba etc so here as you can see in amazon we have find many programmers and we have studied this programmer this tl 866 we have seen this programmer and we have seen that this is a very easy program a very simple program so this program contain many accessories as you can see here so extractor usb cables adapters etc and we have seen also another programmer that you can use to prog to program the bios without remo removing it from the motherboard as you can see here using this clip so here we have a lot of programs as you can see so the BIOS is a program that is charged to start the computer system after it is powered on. It is also manages the data flow between the computer and the Windows or the operating system. And of course, with attached devices like keyboard, mouse, printer, hard disk drive, optical disk drive, etc. The BIOS is a group of instructions on how to check the computer hardware there is a lot of types of bios so like win bond like intel like etimel etc the very common used bios is the bios with eight pins okay and also the pin number one as you can see here is marked with this dot here and the pin number four is always connected to the ground and the pin number eight is always connected to vcc or 3.3 volt okay the bios sizes and i teach you that 
in order to know about the bio sizes, you should read the reference above the body of the bios. So here we have the sizes. When you find one in the reference, that means the size of bios is 128 kilobytes. So two megabit means 256 kilobytes. Four, when you find four, that means 512 kilobytes but this here those values are the value that is commonly used in BIOSes okay so when you find 8 megabit in the BIOS when you find for example 25Q8 or 16 or 32 or 64 megabit that means this values so 8 megabit equal 1 megabyte 16 megabit equal 2 megabyte 32 megabit equal 4 megabyte and 64 megabit equal 8 megabyte you know why because 8 bit equal 1 byte okay that's why when we convert from the megabit to megabyte we divide it by 8 okay so of course here we have other values like 128 megabit that equals to 60 megabytes and 256 megabits equal to 32 megabytes. Okay. Then we have seen the BIOS pin configuration as you can see and I teach you how you can download the BIOS manual or data sheet from the internet and of course, I show you a lot of websites that where you can download this data sheet just for free. Okay, so this is one kind of data sheet. As you can see here, we have a wind bond company of BIOS. As you can see, we have here, as you can see, we have 25Q, as you can see, 25Q16 means 16 means what? Means 2 megabytes, as we have seen here. So 16 means 2 megabytes. Okay. So here you can find, of course, mini shape or mini type of BIOSes. This is the same BIOS with, but with a different pin configuration for this BIOS. I see it contains just 8 pins and for this it contains 16 pins. Okay. And of course here, this is its data sheet where you can find everything about this virus okay you can find all characteristics okay you can find also as you can see here so the features as we have seen before here we have 25q16 so 16 means 16 megabit or 2 megabyte as you can see here okay so we have here the features as you can see this is the pen configuration we have seen that the BIOS always in its pin number one, as you can see, this is the, so in pin number one, this is the chip selects, input here we have the data output in pin number two, in pin number five we have data input, okay, so in pin three we have write protect, here always connected to the ground, so in pin six we have the clock, okay, so in pin 7, as you can see, this is the hold, the data input, output, this is the hold, input, output, and here the VCC to power supply. Always the VCC for this kind of BIOSes is 3.3 volts, okay? For the other kind of BIOSes, as you can see with 16 pins, this is its pin configuration, as you can see. So the VCC is in pin number 2 as you can see and here all these four pins means not connected these pins are not used here we have the chip select of course here we have hold this is the data output here we have the clock in pin number 16 so data input okay here all these pins are not connected so we have ground and we have the right products okay the same pin configuration okay as you can see no connect or not connected okay 